Hey guys, welcome back. Well, surprise, surprise, there is another crash in the crypto market. As I record this, Bitcoin is now down over 30% on the year. And as always, altcoins have been smashed much harder. And I think the main questions people have right now is what on earth is going on? How low can this thing go? And what should we do? Well, unfortunately, there are two sides to the investing coin. And it's all fun and jokes when everything's going up, everyone's making money and experiencing mega gains, but these are all just one side of the coin. And the other side is, all the stuff you've been investing in is now dropping fast. Your portfolio is shrinking before your very eyes and having to deal with all the fear, the uncertainty and doubt of maybe losing more. But remember, it's all part of investing. So an important video and we'll be looking at what is going on, my thoughts on why this downturn is happening. Then we'll look at some crypto crashes and the lessons that we can learn from the past then the million dollar question of what happens next. And then we'll finish with my plan and how I'm navigating this storm. As always, if you do enjoy anything in the video, then drop a like, always appreciated. Okay, first up, after a tremendous 2021 where we all experienced amazing gains, the tide has now turned and things are now contracting. So what is going on? Ready? Uh, let's do this. So here we have the S&P 500, which represents the US stock market. And you want to know the biggest problem going on right now, it's this. Last year, the S&P went up 27%. Just look at this growth line. Now, historically, the S&P will go up around 10%. So the problem we have is that we had two to three years worth of gains in just one year. Now, one of the biggest culprits was the pandemic. So everyone being locked at home, we had the Fed printing massive amounts of money, we had government sending people checks in the mail, and everyone was pumping up the market. So to diagnose the problem in just one sentence, it would be this, it's simply gone up too quickly, too fast. And when that happens, it always causes problems. So again, this is the S&P again, and we can see, so after this big run up in the last couple of years, this is the rollover that's beginning to happen now. And if we zoom in, for the year, the S&P is now down 8%, so beginning to contract. And this is the broad-based market. Now, when we look at the tech sector, which is more the high growth stocks, this is triple Q, so the NASDAQ top 100 tech stocks, and you can see this always will get hit a bit harder. So this is now over 10%. And as, as you go down the risk curve and you start going to the smaller caps, they get hit even harder. So this is Kathy Wood's ARK Innovation ETF, smaller cap innovation stocks, and already this year down 26%. And this is where cryptos fall into as well. They are speculative, young, smaller tech innovation. Think of it like cracking a whip. The main part, the S&P moves quite slowly, but as you get to the end of the whip, this is where the small caps at the end get the biggest crack. So I believe, and as always, it's way simpler than most people think. We simply went up too fast, too quickly, and when that happens, there'll always be some smart money taking profits, which then causes some fear selling from retail. And always remember this, markets are cyclical and they're always going from overvalued to undervalued again and again. Do you remember Tesla's year in 2020? The stock went bananas, going up over 700% and everyone was saying it's going to the moon and what happened? It corrected back over 30%. It just went up too quickly, too fast. 
Same again with Cathy Wood's flagship fund. It went bananas, going up 148% in just one year. Everybody was saying it's going to the moon. And what happened? It's now down over 50%. It simply went up too quickly, too fast. Same story with solar stocks. Same story with EV stocks and it's all actually very common. Now, the crypto market is like the stock market on steroids. And when stocks go up, the crypto market goes up 10 times that amount. But then unfortunately, it also happens on the way down as well. And this is why we get so many more crypto crashes. And for anyone who just joined crypto this year, crypto does get hit much harder and 50% drops are really not that uncommon. These are the crashes in Bitcoin since 2012. So we've got 2012, 2013, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21. And last year, a 51% crash. We had a 60% crash. This was the peak of the last market cycle, 84% but you can see it's very common, 20%, 40%, 50%, 80%. This is nothing new in crypto. In fact, check this out. Now, this is a crypto bull market cycle. This is when everything is going up and crypto is setting new all-time highs. And look what happens along the way. 30% drops, 36%, 40%, 40%, 40%. And this is when crypto is going well. Again, very, very common. And this was Bitcoin last year. Now, in black, this is the S&P 500, very steady gains, but crypto is full of huge runs, big drops, painful, fearful crashes, huge runs up and down, up and down. And this year, I think all we've done is that we've started the year in one of these crashes, and it's extremely unlikely that all of a sudden crypto would be dead. I think it's only a matter of time until the next run. So I believe what is going on has to do with the stock market. And this is also why we shouldn't just live in the crypto bubble, pretending nothing else exists. Now, we just need to play out the main scenarios and have a plan for each. Now, number one, an 8% drop in the S&P is enough for people to feel comfortable again and everything just slowly goes back up from here. Number two, the stock market goes on to have a full correction, which is between 10 and 20%, and then people feel more comfortable and things begin moving back up again. Or number three, we do get a full-on bear market or stock market crash of 50% plus. Okay, number one is quite easy. Hopefully you didn't panic sell. People now feel more comfortable at these prices and begin coming back to the market. Number two means there's still more downside to come. Stocks still have further to fall. Tech and crypto will fall even further. And in my opinion, this just creates an amazing buying opportunity. If you didn't know, corrections are a drop between 10 and 20% and they've happened in the stock market on average every single year. Remember that they have happened every single year. They aren't new. And number three means there's still some big drops to come. And this was just the starter. Now, a big stock market crash, I'm talking 30 to 50% in the S&P, 80% in the NASDAQ is the least likely scenario. However, they have been happening every 10 years more recently, and we are overdue a recession. So it's certainly possible. Now, for anyone interested, here's how I'm planning on navigating this storm. So even though it's the least likely option, I always prefer to plan for a worst case scenario and expect a much bigger crash. Plan for the worst, and then anything less than that is much easier to handle. Now, trying to time the market is incredibly risky. The whole sell everything now and then buy back in at the bottom, as the problem is no one knows where the bottom is, and the bounce back rallies are often just as fast as the drops.
Now, if you saw my investing plan for 2022 video, I covered how I was going to handle the extreme volatility of the crypto market. And essentially, we can only do three things. We can buy, we can sell, and we can hold. And I explained I'm using a rule-based approach based off Bitcoin's price. As Bitcoin sets new highs, at certain points, I would become a seller. If Bitcoin were to drop over 50% from its all-time high, I would then become a buyer, and then everything else in between, I would just be holding. Well, as we all know, Bitcoin did in fact just drop below the 50% mark, and I did use a quarter of my cash position and became a buyer once more. And what did I buy? C20. And the remaining quarters I will use if and when Bitcoin drops to the 30K mark, 25K mark, and 20K mark. And if Bitcoin just stays around this 50% down range, I will be dollar cost averaging in new money each and every month. And if and when it starts going back up, again, I move into hodling. So remember, now is not the time to freak out. Big crashes are very rare and they always give the best buying opportunities as it's when everything goes on sale. You know the golden rule, right? Even Snoop Dogg gets it. So there you are guys, hope you enjoyed. That is what I think is happening. Those were the main scenarios to come and that is what I will be doing. But remember, this is not personal investing advice. Please don't just copy off me, just use it as a reference point of many. I could very well be wrong. But for now, just to say, if you did enjoy anything in the video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't yet subscribed, click below and join us. Got some great videos coming up, but you don't want to miss. Okay, cheers guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.